Well, it's an absolutely beautiful day today, folks. Just admiring the sunshine and my handiwork up there. So welcome along to another quick update. I'll flip the camera, we'll have a walk around, and we'll have a quick chat about what I'm doing at the minute. So this is a view from a window. We'll have a look out. Down there we've got what's left of the roof timber, some fascia board, and a V, V, messy garden. Not a very big garden, is it, as you can see? So what I'm doing at the minute is we've put the roof rafters in and the ceiling joists, and uh, yet to be inspected, but I don't think it'll be a problem. And then around here, We've opened up the wall to put a steel in across here. So just a couple of temporary props there to save these loose bricks falling down. I can't be bothered to rebuild it if they do. But uh, the structural side of it is held up here. And in terms of structure, all we're really holding up is that purlin there. That purlin supports the roof. But it's more for imposed loads rather than dead loads, so on a day like today where it's lovely and sunny, there's not much risk of anything going south. So these are the two steels down here that were meant to be going into this section, but because I've removed the external skin of the wall, as you can see, I'm only going to need to put one of them in. Now, there's a small chance that the building inspector will make me install the second one anyway, because together they've got a decreased bending moment but I can't see even one of those steels bending with just the weight of this relatively tiny gable end roof which is only 1600 wide so I can't see it being a big issue we've got one lintel to take out here above this bathroom window that one's already gone uh, it's there actually and on this pier we've just left a few support bricks there just taking a little bit of weight but the the props got it anyway this is just to stop these bricks from falling away until we get that steel in so at the moment i've got some concrete commons down there and i've got a couple here as well and we're just going to build a little pad stone on here uh, to the specifications of the structural engineer not a big one either, 140 by 215, which is only one brick wide and uh, two bricks deep. But I'm going to put a bit more in to take it up to the right height. And the right height being my pencil mark just there. And then hopefully we can sling the steel in on top. We can get all this brickwork moved. Then the steel goes into the webbing of that bigger steel there, which is carrying the wall plate. And then I've got to join that wall plate as well to that one. If I get a chance, I might be able to take that brick out and do that. But uh, yeah, then this can then be bolted to this one. And it will be carrying all of the internal wall and the roof. And that's job done. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, I'm going to get this pad stone in. And I'm going to get this steel up because I'm not concerned that the longer I leave this, the more chance there is of it falling down on its own. I'm just resigned to the fact that if that does happen, there's very little I can do about it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a steel installed. Got to cut some cleats and install on that end. No real sense of urgency for that because that's going nowhere. Leave it to dry for a few hours in this weather. It shouldn't take too long. And we'll pull these acro props out. And the next job is we're going to come off from where this wall is here and figure out um, a 90 degree straight across to this wall. And we'll put some pad stones in to carry just the... Uh, tips of these ceiling joists so they're not sat floating in midair. I think they'd hold each other with all these bolts in but there's a wall going here anyway so we may as well incorporate a joist in there to carry it. A little lintel of some type. Well I've seemed to have made a serious commitment now. 
It's about half past five, the weather's still good. Sun's quite high in the sky. Uh, but yeah, I've opened the loft, so we're in now. So I've no choice but to actually get this lined today. I'm gonna have to get some, uh, get the valley in, get the jack rafters on, get the membrane on, and get the tile battens on today. Um, temporarily I had to relocate the cannabis farm. Uh, that was more trouble than it was worth. <laughs> oh, the things I do. Half past five and I've opened the roof up. I must be mad. Drinking that stuff as well. But it is cold. So there we have it. Uh, I'll keep plugging away and we'll see how we get on. The chickens also think I'm mad. Well, it's 7.30 now, nearly eight. We've got the steel in, and uh, I've just put some insulation board up to make us watertight for the night. I didn't get all the rafters in the roof because uh, the neighbors were putting the kids to bed, so I had to stop. But uh, I'm four pieces of timber away. Shall I go and show you? Well, you can't really make it out from down here, but we've got four pieces of timber to go on the valley just on the left hand side there and then that completes the framing for the roof and it's all in it's just a shame you can't really see it from this angle i'll just jump over all of this gutter in here reggie leaving us some landmines my friend now you can't really see it from this angle at all ah so if i climb up the ladder one-handed to reveal all so we've just got this section here there is a valley layboard in there top to bottom just like in the other side and we've got one two three and a tiny little piece of rafter to go in there all this is in we've got two more double beams to go in here then that's these ceilings because they're slightly over span for the size so I've doubled them up don't look at that joint and then all the way across here we're trimmed with a string line for fascia boards this is a bit short as well we've got to extend that a touch i've got dragon ties in on the hips i'm not completely sold on the fact that you nail them in because that don't feel like it's doing anything to me so thinking about screwing that instead need to get some timber for the valley boards I'm going to cut these in flush ultimately so they sit level with the tile battens and uh, then I can put an upstand on the edge all the way up which the lead can go over to prevent stuff coming down here and up and over that side so that will look a little bit closer to the NHBC guidelines uh, oh, we're out of the sun. I might stop sneezing and sniffling now. Bolts to go into that joist there. We've got a pad stone in here to take this. I don't know if he wants me to put a triple bearer there or not. We'll see, simply because it's carrying ceiling joists which are under tension, not under compression, so I can't imagine wanting, them wanting to go anywhere. But this space to put another beam either side if it needs to be and i've just got to put like a ladder rafter in down here to enclose this wall when i build this internal wall up these are the purlins which as you can see are a lot beefier than the originals then we've got some binders to go in down the bottom as well the purlins are going to sit on the wall on the external wall here oh dear and then we'll have some horizontal restraint going in some metal work I would imagine to brace all this I moved this big uh, stone from there to the end because everyone else seems to have done it who's done extensions around here and uh, cut the rafters nice and long apart from that one for the fascia board to go on hopefully we'll get some fascia on by the end of the weekend so I've got two pieces of timber to go up there three pieces of timber to go over there 
the valley lay boards can actually be slid in afterwards um, so if I can't get any of this timber today well I can't tomorrow should I say which is Sunday so I probably won't we can just uh, put some batten on the inside of these and then slide them in that should be fine and then lead over the top uh, and then felt yeah that's the point I've got a lead before I felt yes okay so I need lead so I can felt right up to the valleys but I can't tie it down so I just have to leave it loose there don't nail it on the valleys chuck stuff under simple and there we are so that's it what a lovely sunny day in Redford folks the extension's coming along and I'm about ready for it to be finished if I'm honest anyway we'll see you on the next one I've spent